this is Goodnight Stories for Rebel Girls. Welcome to Goodnight Stories for Rebel Girls. I'm Adelaide from Chicago. I'm eight years old, and I'm interviewing Larry Morgan, who was the narrator of last week's episode of Goodnight Stories for Rebel Girls. If you haven't heard last week's episode, now's a good time to go back and check it out. Larry, would you like to introduce yourself? I'm Larry Morgan. I'm a television presenter specializing in sport and adventure. I've created series following some of my adventures around the world, and I've lived with tribes for documentary series. I'm also an ultra runner, an adventurer. I'm only one of around 100 people in the world who have visited the site of Titanic. But I'm also a speaker, so I go around schools and companies and universities talking about my experiences and and sharing the lessons that I've learned on the trails. What was your motivation to start running? Ever since a child, I've been running. It's who I am. It's in my blood. It's what I enjoy doing. But my first marathon was the New York Marathon back in 1995. And four years earlier, I'd been told that I wouldn't be able to run properly again following a serious sporting accident. But after leaving the hospital in a wheelchair, I decided that I wanted to run more than anything. And I made a commitment to finish a marathon, even if it meant crawling towards the finishing line. And it motivated me to do whatever was necessary to get to cross that finish line. I trained really hard, starting, first of all, on crutches, walking from lamppost to lamppost, walking long distances, and then eventually being able to run. And then 16 years later, I won the 350-mile non-stop Arctic race, a race that's known as one of the toughest, windiest, and most extreme foot races on Earth. So basically what I'm saying is, if there's a will, there's a way. Do you listen to music when you run? What are your favorite songs? I always take my phone with me. That's one thing that I always take with me when I'm running. And I have such a wide range of music on my phone, but I don't necessarily listen to music all the time when I'm running. It all depends on the distance and the speed I'm going. If I want to go long and slower, sometimes I'll listen to a podcast Or if I'm on the mountains or running through a forest, I sometimes turn the music or the podcast off and I just listen to Mother Nature and I love that. But if I want to go really fast, then I'll put some upbeat music to help me speed up. When do you find yourself the happiest? Running makes me happy. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's easy. There are tough times, but the good days far outweigh the bad times. But why do I do it? Well, because when I do have a goal, a goal that takes me out of my comfort zone, I have found talents and abilities I never knew I had. And I think what makes me happier is when I get to the ultimate limit of my endurance, I realize that my limits don't break, they bend, and then I start to enjoy the experience and I start to revel in the challenge that faces me. And that's what I love about it. Thanks, Larry. Rebels, tune in next week for a new episode on hero Corey Ten Boom, read by actress Amy Landecker. If you like this show, please leave a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen. Share it with all of your friends. Stay Rebel!